Yeah. Good day, my beautiful people. You're listening to Independent TV 7 as it is uh, uh, on the headline concerning 2023 election. It says, We strongly believe that we won the election based on the uh, statistics and the results uh, we have. That's coming from Abure. Uh, Abure is the national chairman of Labour Party, uh, Julius Abure. He has said that based on the statistics and results uh, his party have uh his party have as present now he says his party strongly believe that they won the election he also lamented that the apc all progressive congress is getting ready for a potential rerun of the 2023 presidential election wow and uh, that word rerun is what we're going to look up for rerunning the election that came in 2023 february 5 and we believe there are foreign observers you know even that we're watching that came from uh, either europe or developed country just because we have bilateral relationship with uh, uh, international organizations and that's why we could have a uh, you know access to loan money to get money to do all sorts of things and um, uh, bilaterally i uh, would believe uh, nigeria is a is a country that should have stood on its own or there about because of the natural and mineral resources we all have well, that's not the story for today, but it's coming all the way from the National Chairman of Labour Party, uh, Julius Abre, uh, who said that based on the statistics and the results his party have at present, he said his party strongly believed that they won the election, that is for Labour Party. He also lamented that the APC All Progressive Congress is getting ready for a potential run of the 2023 presidential election and cautioning party members to stay vigilant and not be caught off guard. The national chairman made his uh, statement during an online meeting held with Nigerian America Coalition for Justice and Democracy. In his words, and in his own words, uh, Julius Abure said, We firmly believe that we emerged victorious in the election based on the available statistics and the uh, results. And we fully anticipate will be being uh, declared as the president. However, in the event that the government plans a rerun and our desired outcome doesn't materialize, it would be appropriate for us to begin making preparations. It is very important and to note that we have presented all our evidence to the court, and we maintain a strong hope that the court will rule in our favor. He also added. And on the quote, which he says, we believe strongly that we won that election given the statistics uh, we have, given the result we have, and also we are not expecting anything less than the declaration of uh, OB, anything less than the declaration of OB as a president. But supposedly, and supposing that did, that didn't happen, and as the government, it is believed to be planning for a rerun. It will not also be out of place for us to start uh, preparing. I must say clearly that we have put all our evidences before the court. Uh, we are very hopeful that the court will act in our hope and favor. And we are keeping our hope and uh, confidence alive. Yeah, this is coming from uh, Julius Habure. Now he's standing as a chairman of labor or national chairman of labor party and giving his own progress and opinion as per 2023 election that you know was held february 25th and it was being said that the european union came through just because they are the foreign observers to monitor that event and it was learned to us that the election was rigged and so many people have believed strongly that if election result or voting result should be out or should be read out, it should be between the time official time between 8 a.m. and uh, the time being of 6, which is the official time. But they said it was the, the, the announcement was made at night. And that's what Abura is also telling us that if uh, there was no uh, rigging of the election, and there was no ballot paper being stolen. If there were vigilantes or people were vigilant and cautioned enough, they would have seen that Peter will be won the 2023 presidential polls. 
Hmm. Well, uh, so many people have been, you know, so very, very, you know, optimistic about this, and then um, they still want to know why. Uh, in his words, that Julius Abure said, he said they firmly believe that they might be victorious, but to some persons, said uh, the Tinubu party and Tinubu himself have been sworn in as a president of the country, and there is no going back or derivable. But I believe uh, there is what they call appeal, and that was why. Uh, Peter Obi and Atiku, you know, became the plaintiff. Then the Tinumbu and his entourage and his APC and representing them as a national leader, they are the, I would say they are the uh, defendant. Well, let's go through quickly to the comment section and see what uh, we have in stock. According to somebody that he gave himself preference as good God. He says, a great party chairman, we appreciate your steadfastness, uh, steadfastness, yeah, and humility. Uh, God bless you. New Nigeria is possible. PO loading. Okay, Peter will be loading. Well, uh, it has been said that there will be a rerun even from the INEC, Independent National Electoral Commission. But the date and time is what I believe uh, will be, you know, will be notified about. Now, Etim says the APC cannot prove themselves in court. Now, for Labour Party, Obi did not do so very well in the northern Nigeria. Can someone win? Presidency in Nigeria without doing well in the north. And that's another question, though. Uh, but uh, according to what uh, the chairman has said, and I said they won the election. I mean, the, the party, Labour Party, won the election. You know, represented by Peter Obi. Now, in other words, APC cannot prove themselves in court, according to what uh, Etim said. That if he really wants to win, or can anybody win election in Nigeria without you know winning or doing well? the northern part of the country. Uh, someone will win uh, presidency in Nigeria without doing well enough? It is a question for all of us to puzzle or to ponder about. Now, Judamo, uh, you have found your voice again. Thank God those demons have been silenced. Okay. Now, this is uh, this person is referring to the Labour Party National Chairman being alive again as you know his voice was gone and you found your voice back and um, that's their narrative everybody have opinion because in, in the under, under the constitution there, there is self-determination there is freedom of association there is freedom of movement and there, there is a freedom of speech as it is provided it's not violent someone says criminal everywhere you won over article without your OB with meaningful votes from the northern state Nothing like we run. Obi must, decla must be declared winner because he really won. Well, so many people are bringing their logistics, statistics, and uh, their figures you know, to back it up and to, def to defend it. Uh, contextually, uh, from the side of the constitution and the law, it should be embedded that uh, nothing should be rerun or rerun or thereabout because once INEC have made an, an announcement that someone has won the election, it is a verdict. So there is no, you can only go to court to appeal, but they'll keep adjourning the case. Same as uh, in Amdekano's case, when court gave a verdict of uh, discharge and acquitted. So in Amdekano was discharged and acquitted, you know, from those many, many charges they rendered upon him. Someone still went behind to, to doubt the verdict of the judge. And immediately we saw that three justices that, you know, presided over in Amdekano's case were transferred immediately. That is Nigeria for you. Well, this is what I'm going to draw the curtain. I like the share of views in your comment section. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And also, you know, click on the not notification bell icon to get more news. Thanks for listening and God bless you.